After logging in, we're going to be on our live view screen. Now we're going to have some options on the top, live view, playback, setup, and smart, which we'll cover individually. We're also going to have a log out at the top right. Now we're going to be presented with our cameras on a list on the left side. You can play these one at a time if you prefer in whichever box that you select by clicking on the camera icon itself. I prefer to start all live view down here at the bottom. So we're going to have a stop and a play button. This is just going to play every camera we have available for the windows that we have available. Double clicking will full screen our camera. And double clicking again, we'll return to the multi view. Additionally, we're going to have some options down at the bottom. We get our screen division. So you can change this to our preferred setup. This can also be dragged into the windows that you prefer. Additionally, we're going to have some options on the right of the camera. You'll either see a one or a two. Basic explanation is we're going to have a mainstream and a substream and a third stream on each camera. The mainstream is going to be the full quality, also what it's being recorded as. Substream is roughly a half quality. Third stream is roughly a third quality. So this exists for streaming purposes. Uh, if you're pulling up many cameras at one time, you're not going to be able to pull all of them at the mainstream in some cases. So you can revert to the substream option. It's always going to be recorded in the mainstream, however. So we can switch these individually as they're playing. Or down here at the bottom, we get a switch all from a one to a two, or even third stream for all cameras. And you notice all of our numbers will change to one. So if you're on number one, it may take a little bit longer to pull all your video feeds in as they will be very high resolution. Next option I wanted to talk about is some of our icons in the lower right-hand corner here. So we're going to have some available options for each camera. Some of them will not be applicable to certain models, but we're going to have a snapshot option. We're going to have a record option. We're going to have a digital zoom option. PTZ controls fisheye control. We're able to adjust the audio coming from our camera. For this particular model, it's not available, but we have a two-way audio option here. We also have a full screen, in which after you full screen, you can press escape to return to the main view. Digital zoom is going to be our magnifying glass, and that allows us to focus in on a certain area by clicking and dragging and that will bump it up to the full screen size. Clicking the magnifying glass again returns us to the main view. 